Hey Taurus, happy birthday. Welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Bami Spirit. I'm Rodin. So we're gonna be doing the bonus birthday reading for readings for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Now for the bonus birthdays, I always do a couple spreads. Sometimes I do three, depending on how much time we have and how much energy I've got, all right? So if you're really new to tarot, please check out the link below for how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer. It's a good crash course into trying to understand what signs you should watch, uh, how energy readings really work, how to interpret the lingo, and how to really take home the messages that are resonating with you and keep in mind not every reading you you see or come across on youtube will resonate with you okay that's no fault to the reader it just wasn't your reading right we we deliver messages for those who really need to hear them and for those who just come across them whenever they need to okay most readings are timeless these especially are these readings that i do for birthdays are very 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 general i just focus on your sign energy that's it <laughs> so this is energy that i'm picking <clears throat> Excuse me, this is energy that I'm picking up in and around you. So it could be pertaining to you directly, someone in your environment, someone you're energetically connected to, uh, someone in your physical, emotional, energetic environment. Of course, the roles can be reversed if we get more than just one person involved in the reading. We normally get more than one person involved in the reading. This can pertain to your love life, your friend, your social circle, your work, your health, your growth. It could pertain to any facet of your life. You will know if it's resonating. If you're very confused, or you got a lot of questions, it's probably not for you. And again, don't shoot the messenger. It just wasn't for you. And that's okay. All right. Uh, what else? Gender doesn't apply. We all have masculine, feminine energy. And whenever, yeah. And as far as time is concerned, this these messages that come out can pertain to you right now or something that's upcoming for you in the very near future or something you've already been through. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started, Taurus. <clears throat> I'm using uh, Radiant Wise for the primary for this first spread. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus? Anything Taurus needs to be aware of? Anything they should know? I'm getting a frustrated energy. It's more fatigue, I think. I think, yeah, I feel like it's more fatigue that's just kind of turning into frustration because someone's not taking care of themselves or not feeling rested. Needing to slow down. Oh, that's interesting. Needing to slow down. I feel a lot of like planning, a lot of to-do lists have kind of been going on for this energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of throat chakra stuff lately, so bear with me. Um, yeah, a lot of tasks. A lot of tasks. And this person, this energy really just needs to rest. But I feel like they're getting frustrated. Might even be very like irritable having mood swings towards people because they're not taking care of themselves. They're trying to get too much done. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me, or something big done. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus? What kind of dog is that? Or is that a dog? Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought it was a dog at first. I was like, oh no, it's a giant rabbit. Oh, that's so weird giant brown like coffee colored rabbit like that is so weird i swore it was a dog like when they first showed it to me no it's a rabbit okay well that i like that energy actually <laughs> it's like wait a minute what is this hybrid animal um no okay rabbits are very fertile energy it's very like jupiter fortunate think wheel of fortune kind of energy for rabbits okay well that's good oh um, maybe you know okay i think that's what it is so taurus if you're in this tired fatigued irritable energy i think you're trying to capitalize on a window of opportunity but at the same time you're not really being balanced about it you're just kind of focusing all on what you can get done versus having a balanced life right now keep in mind it can be someone else in your environment <clears throat> or someone who's tapped into your energy and when I say tapped into your energy, it can be a lot of people. Our families are tapped into our energy, even if they don't live with us, right? It's like, that's a prime example. Our exes. <laughs> Another prime example. Ooh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's weird. All of a sudden, I had a pain in my eye. Uh, any messages for Taurus? Any messages? Ooh, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. And there's a rabbit. <laughs> and look, it's coffee colored. Yep. I was like, there's a rabbit in here. I know it. Like when that card came, I was like, I could feel that there's one hiding in there. Yep, there's a rabbit. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. Someone could be pregnant. 
with that fertile energy, especially just having that message right away. Queen of Pentacles is also like a mother energy, is someone who is a parent or perfect spouse, someone who nurtures and can also multitask. They're the person that like runs a business but also runs a home, okay? Really nice energy off that Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, this could be you. Of course, it is Earth energy as well, okay? But don't get hung up on the sign energy. We all can harness any sign energy that we want to at any point in time. Any other messages for Taurus? Yeah, I feel like this queen is tired. <laughs> I feel like it's this queen. I feel like this queen is tired. Any other messages for Taurus? Yeah, all of a sudden I'm getting those heavy pregnancy vibes. So it could just be that someone's pregnant and just really tired. <laughs> I'm just really tired from being pregnant. Let's see. Ooh, Eight of Pentacles. Well, there's the working energy I was feeling. That planning, that getting the tasks done, burning the midnight oil. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Judgment in reverse. Fire could also be Scorpionic energy for me, reader, because it's Pluto. We have Page of Cups in reverse. Ooh. This queen is working on something very diligently, very, very focused. Work, 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 work. But then we have this energy, which I'm like, I feel like they're ignoring. I feel like they don't see this energy in their midst or about them. Judgment in a verse with the Page of Cups in a verse. Page of Cups in a verse is a dishonest energy or like denial. Um, also like not being forthright with emotions. Judgment in a verse is usually like a finite ending of some kind or like quite literally not doing the right thing. Yeah, whatever this queen is doing, they're, they're, I feel like they're ignoring something, something big that I think spirit's been trying to scream at them about. It could even be about their child or pregnancy. So for some of you, this is just straight up about a pregnancy and like working too hard while, during your pregnancy and you're too tired. You're not really taking care of yourself, your body or your fetus. So that's definitely there for some of you. But mostly I feel like this queen's working hard on something very diligently and they're in denial about something. They might even be working hard to escape whatever this is. But I feel like spirit's like trying to wave them down. Like, hello, pay attention. <laughs> you're supposed to be paying attention to this, not that. Yeah, they're, they're, they're working so focused and they're like blind to something or just flat out ignoring something or in denial about something. And spirits like really wanting them to pay attention to what they need to pay attention to. Any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus? For some, this is even a future child. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of messages. So hang in there with me, Taurus. For some, I'm actually picking up on a future child that's like, are you, are, are you going to stop working to get pregnant? Like, <laughs> there's, for some, there's literally a future child, like, I'm really getting tired of waiting around. <laughs> really getting tired of waiting. Very eager to come into this world. All right, now we have the Hermit, Virgo energy, with the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. And then we have, ooh, Cherry in reverse, Cancerian energy, and the Five of Pentacles, Taurus. So, Queen of Pentacles, you working, you're working, you're focused, you're tired though, you're getting a little irritable as well, Spirit's trying to get you to pay attention to something that you're in denial about, or you're just flat out not seeing, or you're working too hard to see it, you might, Spirit, okay, keep in mind guys, when Spirit's trying really hard to get our attention, and we're really like resisting it, there might be little things that come up to try to get your attention, like they might even like cause noises, like your guides, your ancestors can do that. Like they can bang on stuff to like get you like distracted so you can like actually focus on them. Um, they could cause little tower moments. You could start feeling really tired like some of you already are, whoever is resonating with this Queen of Pentacles energy to get you to stop, to get you to be quiet, to get you in a place where you are receptive and like open to listening because there's something being ignored here. For some, it's referring to a future child that needs to come into this world. And what's interesting is that over here, we have the hermit, with the King of Cups, Chariot and Verse, and the Five of Pentacles. This is an energy that I feel like is very blocked out. I feel like this is someone who is very MIA right now and someone who has a lot of love for this Queen of Pentacles here. And this could even be like, I gotta be honest, I keep getting this future child energy. It could even be the child that's supposed to come in between these two individuals. You could have a child with this person already or you could be pregnant by this person because some of you I'm getting that, those pregnancy vibes. But either way, this Queen's in denial, not seeing something, while that's going on, there's a King of Cups that's really kind of alone, really iced out. I feel like they're super iced out here. But while they're iced out, they're trying to figure things out for themselves as well. So we have two energies in figure shit out mode. <laughs> the Queen's working. This King, I feel like, is being more introspective. 
And like I said, for some of you, there's a pregnancy involved. Others of you, there's a child waiting to be born and there it's like even spirits getting agitated about this whole situation. Others, this queen is just in denial about something that's in relation to this king of cups. Overall, we do have the seven of wands. Mm -hmm. Leo energy. Oh, this is interesting. Do we have two stubborn people on the board? <laughs> I'm kind of feeling that way. I'm kind of feeling like I'm kind of feeling defensive energy from both of these people and not like super aggressive. I feel like this queen is is feels very justified in whatever it is they're working on, which I feel like can just be work. It's whatever they're putting their focus on. Again, this like capitalizing on a window of opportunity, right? Again, I'm getting I'm getting dragged back to this this um this group of you where it's about a future child, there's a window of opportunity for this child to come in and this window is like, it's not going to be open forever. But I feel like both parties are being very stubborn. I'm getting a very stubborn energy from both parties. Taurus, keep in mind, Scorpio is your natural seventh, your natural counterpart. I do feel like this is the other person. It can be vice versa. So take that as it resonates. But yeah, I'm getting two very stubborn people. One person's just working the day away trying to capitalize on a window of opportunity for them and happy to be in denial about something spirits trying to get their attention to bring their attention to. And then we got a King of Cups over here who's really, who's really iced out and being introspective, but I feel like there's a resistance there. Like they're fighting something and trying to justify being so in their own little cave, in their own little world. Taurus. Okay. All right. Well, let's look at this Eight of Pentacles. Let's see what this queen is so focused on. I really feel like it's work related, but let's see. Yeah. All right. I'm going to use Gilded Tarot for this one. Time of the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Then we're going to look at this king. Time of the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. Oh, we might actually just look at Page of Dustin first because that's what this queen's ignoring. Time of the Eight of Pentacles. What's this queen focusing on? Time of the Eight of Pentacles. Time with the Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. This queen, for some, is just focused on their money. Yeah, for some, just super focused on their money, improving their status, improving their environment. Improve, improve, improve. They're, they're working on building something. Elevating, upgrading something in their life, but tangible. It's like their money, their home, their body even. Improve, improve, improve is what I keep hearing. Ooh, uh-oh, King of Pentacles. Taurian energy could also be Earth or air. <laughs> so now we've got a true pair, a King and Queen of Pentacles. So this queen isn't building alone. They're building with somebody. And just because there's a true pair doesn't mean it has to be romantic. It can be a business partnership or a friendship. It's something where like these two people work really, really, really well together and can get a lot done. So they're working on upgrading, improving something together. It can be building a business, working on a project together. It can be wanting to build a family. It could be that. Um, but they're building something together. All the while, this queen's ignoring something. And then we got a king of cups over here. This is going to get interesting. All right, tell me more about the um, Eight of Pentacles. Mm. <laughs> I feel a soap opera coming on, Taurus. A page of Pentacles in a verse with the Nine of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. Whoever is speaking here, whoever's doing a lot of the talking, this is a greedy energy. It's a taking energy. It's a materialistic energy. For some, again, you could have a child with this king of pentacles. So there's a lot of dynamics going on here, Taurus. So just hang in there with me. But I am seeing for some that this involves a family here. So like I said, queens, you could be focused on trying to build um, a better home, a better environment with someone that you have a child with or a child on the way with. Okay, but whoever is doing like the talking, the speaking, whatever the conversations are about with this building, it's coming from like a materialistic, like money sort of uh perspective here like what's needed in a financial way and while that's going on queens you're in denial about something or spirits trying to get your attention to something like hey hey something's not right you're not seeing this you're not seeing this or you're in denial about this that or the other and then we got a king of cups on the side over here 
So there's, there's soap opera, soap opera. <laughs> soap opera. Holy shit, no way. For some of you, now keep in mind, Taurus, this could be pertaining to someone around you, someone you know, someone in your life, doesn't have to be you. But I do see for some, like I said, that there's a family dynamic here and like trying to build up or improve some kind of environment for this family unit. And I'm seeing that for some of you, there's a whole other family unit over here with the King of Cups. So some of you, there's a lot of kids involved here, okay? And whatever's being ignored could be in relation to this page that belongs with this King of Cups, not the page that belongs with the King of Pentacles. That's for some of you, not all of you. Can we put all this back? <laughs> Hang in there. A lot of dynamics going on. What is with me? Okay, there we go. Let's keep going. So I'm over the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm over the Eight of Pentacles for Taurus. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now I see. Eight of Wands, Sag energy with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Communication about what is not enough. What is not being given to enough? Um, there's not enough here. There's not enough here. There's not enough here. This Queen of Pentacles, like I said, for some of you, I feel like you're really resonating with the Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles is trying to improve. Improve their life. Improve their environment. Improve their home. Improve their finances. For some, it's because they have a child with somebody. And I do feel for some of you, this is about like alimony or child support. Like tell, like basically telling this king, like, hey, we need more for your kid here. It's not enough. And you're like being really stingy with us and we need more. Okay. For some of you, that's definitely the case. That's definitely what's going on here. Others, I'm also getting that if there's no children involved, that this is like an endeavor that you're trying to build with this king of pentacles. But one person is having more of like a greedy mindset versus like, let's just get this done. Like one person's like, let's get the ideas in place. Let's get this tangible. Let's get this on paper. Let's get it going. And one person is actually only thinking about what they're going to get out of it, not what they can share with the other person. This can be a business endeavor or even a relationship. Okay. So for some of you, um, this relationship or business endeavor that's coming on, that's coming online here. Spirit's saying, hey, you're not seeing this person's only in it for the money. You're not seeing this person's only materialistic. You're not seeing this person as an opportunist and they're just trying to get something out of you, okay? Now, for those where this is more about kids and someone's not pulling their weight and you're trying to improve something for a child, some of you have a child with someone else and you, you're not putting energy into it because you're so focused on this family unit. And no shade, I'm not a parent. I don't know how, I don't know how hard that life is. So I'm just seeing that on the board here, okay? Um, but that's for some of you. That's for some of you. And for some of you who are in that scenario, this King of Cups is like, what are we gonna do? <laughs> like the Queen of Pentacles is so focused over there, but they're not focused on this family unit over here, okay? Some of you are dealing with this family unit of the, we'll call it the pentacle, we'll call it the pentacle family. Some of you are so focused on the pentacle family issues and like trying to get support from this king, trying to get things stable, that spirits trying to also allude you to the fact that like, hey, um, you, sh you should like, you know, be a little bit more open, have a little more balance because there might actually be someone that is supposed to come into your life that you're supposed to have another child with. There's just something that spirits like, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. So whether you're wrapped up in getting alimony or child support because you're trying to support your child from your from the other uh, parent, from the co-parent, or you're trying so hard to build up a, a business and finances and all of that, that you're not, you're in denial about the fact that this person's just an opportunist or manipulative or just really selfish, or that you're trying so hard to focus on building something up with somebody in a romantic sense that spirits like you're not realizing this person's just in it for your money or what you can, or what you can bring tangibly, not really your emotions. So there's a lot of pentacles here. Whew. All right, let's get going. Overall for the Eight of Pentacles, we do have Four of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy. Then we have the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Yeah, it's like it's trying to recoup loss. The Queen of Pentacles is focused on recouping loss, whether that's loss of money and support in relation to their child that they have with someone that they have that they co-parent with. Um, or trying to build up a, a business endeavor that maybe they really need to because they recently 
gone through a lot of loss that's been like a hard hit for them so they're not really seeing who they're really getting into business with and of course for some this could be in the realm of relationship where it's like trying to build up a relationship or trying to focus on work to forget a relationship but also like not recognizing yo this person that you're trying to build with or or you were trying to forget was a total opportunist and just really in it for the money okay okay wow i'm tired <laughs> I'm tired. Let's look at this King of Cups. I'm really curious about this person because this person I feel like is almost like frozen, like frozen in introspection. Like this person's not moving. I feel like they're actually kind of stunned. Like they're almost paralyzed by fear is what I'm getting. Paralyzed by like lack mentality. This person doesn't know what to do in their own situation. So let's look at them. I'm going to look at the Hermit card. Hmm. I'm going to use Steampunk. I can... Get it out of here. Okay, there we go. Time with the hermit. Time with the hermit. The Taurus. Time with the hermit for Taurus. It's almost like I'm being drawn over to the um, over energy of the Seven of Wands. It feels like everybody involved, both kings and this queen, it just seems like everybody has something to lose. Like they all have something to lose, but everything to gain. And I feel like everyone's in that, in a stance of really standing up for what they need and what they want. Like, I don't feel a whole lot of give. I don't feel a whole lot of compromise going on. And then for some of you, there's, there's children involved in this. For some of you, one that you have with this King of Pentacles and another you have with the King of Cups. Others of you, one you have with the King of Pentacles and one that's supposed to come into this world with the King of Cups who you may have had a relationship with or not. Either way, spirits like pay attention. <laughs> pay attention. Interesting. And of course, like I said, this doesn't have to be your story. It could be someone you know, someone within your family or someone you're around. So climb up the hermit card. Climb up the hermit card. You know, if this is like a custody battle over here, I mean, I don't see justice or the or the Hierophant, so I'm not going to go as far as to say like it's a whole out court battle. If it is, then it is. Um, I feel uh, it's important to take care of your kids, obviously, but I do feel there's something about that situation that feels like a major distraction. Like it's, it's actually going to be way more draining than beneficial for some of you. Again, I'm not a parent. <laughs> take it as it resonates i always feel weird talking about like kids and parental advice because i'm not a parent you know what i mean um but i i am getting the energy where it's like there's something there that is is kind of a distraction and i think spirit that's why spirit's also very diligent and like pay attention pay attention I'm talking about the hermit card I'm talking about the hermit card for taurus Let's see. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, could also be earth or fire. I love when the Knight of Pentacles comes out. I know he's slow. we have got a lot of Virgo energy too. So this person can have a lot of Virgo in their chart or someone does. Not necessarily, but Virgo on top of Virgo is kind of intense. But I love this Knight because they do business right. You know what I mean? They go about their endeavors, their relationships, the things that they want to do. They go about it in a very stable way, even if it's slow. And then we have the Ace of Swords. And then we have the Two of Cups in reverse, can't Syrian energy. I feel like they're trying to figure out an approach. Yeah, I feel like this person's paralyzed. They're, they're paralyzed in like, a, like, what do I do here? And what they're trying to do is trying to figure out how to approach this Queen of Pentacles. So again, whether this is all business, romance, or family unit situations, this King of Cups wants to approach this Queen of Pentacles. And they're trying to figure out the best way to do it. But right now they feel very stuck. They feel very stuck. They might be very aware as like what you're going through. If this is like a family unit situation uh, with your child that you have with this King of Pentacles, they could be very aware. So like that could be like paralyzing them. If you're just building up a business or relationship, again, that would also put this King of Pentacles like really iced out. I mean, King of Cups really iced out because you're building something with this King of Pentacles or trying to. And that is taking up a lot of your time. I really feel like Spirit is wanting you to pay attention to this King of Cups. No matter which way you cut it, whether this is a business deal that you're getting into with someone who's just going to really like 
take a lot of your money and take a lot of the profits or a relationship where they're really only in it for the money and the resources or you're trying to get alimony or child support from this from the co-parent here for your child that you have with them either way spirits like pay a, pay attention to other things pay attention to this king. i feel like they're screaming to pay attention to this king of cups whether you have a child with them or not or it's just a business endeavor like pay attention to this king of cups this King of Cups might be bringing exactly what you need to be stable or to build whatever it is you're seeking to build, business or family or love or otherwise. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more about this hermit. Tell me more about the hermit for Taurus. God, there's a lot going on in this very first spread. Do we even need to do a couple more spreads? It's like a little bit of everything. Let's see. There's that. Yeah, see, seven of wands again. Leo energy. Yeah, everybody has a stake in, in the situation. Everybody's got something to lose and everything to gain. Then we have the sun, Leo energy, and then we have the high priestess in reverse. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. This king of cups really wants to fight for, the, for this queen. Business, family, or love. Or all the above. Some of those could be all the above. Good luck there with that soap opera. But they they see they see what they want with this queen. They see this queen and everything that they can offer. I feel like they want to give to the queen. I really feel that way. They want to give to the queen. They just don't know how to approach. They don't know if they even can with all of this going on with the King of Pentacles. But they want it and they want to fight for it. There could even be um, a spiritual component going on here between this King of uh, Cups and this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, but they're not doing anything. They're not going to do anything until this queen frees up their space, which is which is exactly what needs to happen. This queen is filling up their space with this king of pentacles and this page of pentacles and trying to get stable, trying to build, trying to improve, trying to improve, trying to improve. And spirit's like, can you just pay attention to what is actually going to give you what you need? <laughs> pay attention to what's going to give you what you need. Because I feel like this, this situation with this king of pentacles is almost too much work. Like it's not reaping any rewards. It's not. It's like, I'm going to build and then we get knocked down. I'm going to build and then we get knocked down. This king needs the space. This king of cups needs the space to come in. Over energy, we do have the two of pentacles, Capricorn energy. Yeah. And the queen of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn could also be earth or water. That same queen of pentacles over here. The fact that the queen of pentacles in reverse tells me this queen of pentacles is not paying attention to this king of cups not paying attention to them but that's why this king cups is like i don't know what to do with this queen underneath that we do have the queen of wands aries energy could also be fire or water this is interesting to me god is this like taurus what situation are you finding yourself in because for some of you no way okay for some of you it's just representing more of this queen's energy like very very attractive very resilient, very ready to put in a lot of work to get a lot of rewards, which is very much like a Queen of Pentacles energy. And you got a little pizzazz with that Queen of Wands, right? So some of you, this King of Cups, just looking at this Queen, like this Queen's amazing. I need to figure out how to make that happen. Others of you, I gotta be honest, it's almost feeling like this King of Cups might even have a Queen of Wands in their life. And they're trying to figure out what to do because they're looking at this queen of pentacles like i want this queen of pentacles this queen of pentacles will be true this queen of pentacles will be the perfect partner for business or family or love they will be perfect because underneath this queen of wands we got ace of wands in reverse okay and i'm totally seeing that here so this king of cups for some of you is is really just wanting this queen of pentacles who they also see as very attractive with the Queen of Wands. But they also see as very delayed with the Ace of Wands in a verse because this Queen's life is full of this King of Pentacles. Others of you, this King of Cups is looking at this Queen of Pentacles like, well, I have this Queen of Wands in my life, but there's no passion there. They don't have passion for me, really. I don't really have passion for them. It's not working in our business relationship or it's not working in our romantic situation. I really want this Queen of Pentacles, but this Queen of Pentacles isn't looking at me. What do I do? Do I hang out with this Queen of Wands or do I try to go with this Queen of Pentacles? But this Queen of Pentacles doesn't have space for me. This is insane, Taurus. <laughs> Taurus, some of you, this is like a four-party nonsense craziness. But I, I've given you all the scenarios I picked up on. Some of you, this is just family unit, family unit. Okay, some of you, this is 
romance, romance. Some of you this, and some of you this is all business because we have a lot of pentacles here. All right. Either way, spirit is trying to scream at this queen of pentacles, like pay attention, make the space for the person that will give you what it is you need. Because this king of pentacles is not doing it, not doing it. It's not doing it. And all the conversations that are happening between this queen of pentacles and this king of pentacles, it's just, it, there's no emotion there. It's all like practical and it's all about how one person's getting everything and one person's not getting enough. It's futile. And Spirit's like, can you stop? Can you stop? Can you stop? Can you just stop? And this King, King of Cups is just waiting. Just waiting for the space to come in. Just waiting for the space. All the while, some of them, not all of them, some of them have a Queen of Wands that they, they also don't want to be dealing with anymore. And the truth of it is, guys, like in the reality of life, a lot of people have a lot of options, right? A lot of people have options. I would say most people have more than one option at any, any given time. But this is a soap opera where we'll do another spread. I took, that took so much out of me, but we will do another spread. Oh, boy. Taurus. Oh, oh, Lordy. Okay. So because my camera, like, will only film at 45 minutes at any given time before starting a new video, I'm just going to stop this one and then do a, another one to make it more smooth editing-wise, okay? Um, but yeah, Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and do the second spread. Good luck for, for those who are in this situation. Just pay attention. Just pay attention to spirit. Just like take the time out to rest and be like have your silence and quiet time and figure it out. Okay. All right. I love you, Taurus. I hope you guys have a really good birthday if you're not watching the other spreads. And I hope you guys have a really good night. Namaste. Hey, Taurus. So that first spread was a little crazy. Um, let's go ahead and do a second spread. Hopefully it won't be nearly as insane. I'm going to start with Rider Waite. Let's see here. Any messages for Taurus? Can I get different messages for Taurus, please? Definitely a different message, because that was crazy. <sighs> okay, I'm seeing a fish. That actually says money to me. Because <laughs> fish can be about money um, or currency. Uh, fish can also be about flow, like emotional flow. Um, which means that there's a lot of emotional flow open. Like it doesn't mean that there's, it means that there's like no blockages. It feels positive. It feels positive, Taurus. You're either uh, really improving in your financial situation or you're having a lot of nice flow with somebody or an outpouring of emotion here. Okay, let's keep going. What are we doing with the Pisces? <laughs> Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus? Okay. See what we got here. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. Okay, so like I said, you got the, you got the Pentacle on the brain. The flow is slow, but it's steady. It's slow and it's steady, which means it's strong. Okay, which means it's strong. Whether it's just financial, it feels financial because it's a Pentacle. It doesn't feel. It could be in the realm of emotion. You could be wanting flow or movement in something that you have a lot of emotion for. But I feel like this is more financial. Financial flow and stability is on your side, and it's good. It's good. Any messages for Taurus pertaining to the spread? Any messages for Taurus pertaining to the spread? There's the there's the water. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Yeah, you're going. I feel like you just have forward movement, but it's steady. It has a nice pace to it. It's not insane. It's like, it's nice. It's it's very um, sustainable. You have sustainable flow and progress going on here. And with the Eight of Cups, you're going to your Ten of Cups. That's your plan anyway. That's your plan. Any messages for Taurus? Any messages for Taurus? Pertaining to the spread. Any more messages for Taurus? Pertaining to the spread. Yeah, you're pacing yourself. It's interesting. Whatever it is you're heading to, you're pacing yourself. I don't think you're running a marathon. Ooh, that's why you're pacing yourself. Nine of swords in reverse. <laughs> 
Gemini energy. It's like, why do I feel the need to keep repeating that? It's like, oh, because it's there's a reason you're doing that because there's some anxiety going on here that you're trying to not influence you, but it's still here. So whatever you're pacing yourself with, you're pacing yourself and you're going slow because you have a lot of anxiety about it. You got a lot of fear about it, but you're trying to like push through it. You're trying to let that stop you and you're not letting it stop you, which is why it's in reverse, right? So like as you pace yourself, the anxiety slowly dissipates, but it's almost like you know if you go full speed ahead or put a lot of momentum in it that the anxiety will almost like heighten. So you're doing what you know is best for you. You're doing it at your own way that is best for you. So that's not a bad thing. Any other messages for Taurus? Ooh, magician, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy. A lot of Virgo going on here. I've been noticing that too in a lot of my reads. A lot of Virgo energy has been coming up, which is interesting because we don't really have Virgo energy right now. But anyway, neither here nor there. So excuse me, you are in creation mode, you're in manifestation mode, you want to get something done. But again, you're, excuse me, you're pacing yourself. So you don't let anxiety overwhelm you. Any other messages for Taurus? It must be something big then Taurus. It must be something really huge. Any other messages for Taurus? Over energy, we have the Queen of Cups in a verse. Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Ooh, another queen, Queen of Swords. Uh-oh. Libra energy could also be air or water. Oh, yikes. And we have a King of Cups in a verse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air with the four of wands underneath that. Aries. And then we have the Justice card in a verse. Libra. Some of you, this is about a divorce or a splitting up of. Look at that. Oh, sorry. A lot of cards to hold up. There we go. Yeah, some of you, this is about a divorce where this king of cups queen of cups like there's no emotion left there there's none there's no there's no love there anymore um there might even be some manipulation it might even have turned festery and toxic because the four wands of justice in reverse that tells me that there definitely has it's become imbalanced with the queen of swords being there there's a cutting out of this okay so taurus you might be trying to go about this removal slowly or it could be that this removal of a relationship or foundation or like i said even a like a flat out divorce has already happened and you're trying this is like this is your pacing and baby steps to kind of get back up on your feet and to get going again and find a good steady play uh, pace and place pace and place <laughs> but definitely this is screaming divorce to me or you know split up of a long-term relationship because look at that like definitely these two people this king and this queen the queen of swords is just an energy of cutting out of removal there's been a major severing of this connection like major but what's interesting to me is the four one standing upright it's almost like as severed as this connection is as cold as this connection is it's like there has there's been a hard time letting go of it but the longer you hold on to something that's pretty much severed and done with the more imbalanced you're gonna feel and the harder it's gonna be so that's why i feel like this has already been removed and you're trying to get back up on your feet or you're slowly trying to distance yourself from this person if you do it slowly it's gonna be painful don't do it slow taurus just, just rip it off i know you're trying to not let your anxiety override you but it, it's clearly done right even underneath justice in a verse we got the four of cups you don't want this and they don't want this the people involved in this don't want this foundation anymore they don't they don't so here you are on your pace slow pace to your ten of cups and trying to make it happen without letting your anxiety take over and, let, and without triggering your anxiety here let's look at the eight of cups and see where you're headed okay mm. i'm gonna do legacy time with the eight of cups for taurus time with the eight of cups for taurus Time with Eight of Cups for Taurus. Time with Eight of Cups for Taurus. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. You're walking away from what you don't want to put effort into anymore, which is exactly, it's the foundation. It's the foundation that's been severed. And it feels like a... Whew, like so cold. I don't know if it was, I don't think it was severed quickly. I definitely don't think that, but it's like, 
the way the way it was it just was painful a, yeah just a painful deep severing like i feel i feel some resentment there oh well no not just some i feel a lot of resentment there but you're walking away from the things you don't want to put effort into anymore which again is this foundation so remember this eight of cups Ooh, ace of pentacles in reverse i just heard regret you might regret putting so much time into this foundation because it might have cost you opportunities. It might have even cost you money. There's a Seven of Pentacles energy about this because we have the Ace with the Eight here. So Seven of Pentacles is about investment and rewards of investment. You might feel like you wasted your time. I do feel that. Like you spent too much time in this relationship or foundation and it's cost you. It's cost you greatly. It's cost you opportunities. For some, it's cost you money. Some of you, it's cost you energy. But you're not really walking away with a whole lot. You're not walking away with a whole lot. Okay, cards flying everywhere. This deck really wants to talk. And then we have a Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra could also be air or water with the sun, Leo energy. The sun is very positive to me because the sun is telling me about a new beginning, like starting over. The Queen of Swords in reverse, though, I feel like there's no communication about that. You might even, some of you, I feel like, well, okay, excuse me, sorry, my back up. My words are not with me today. Most of you, I think this is a getting up slowly and trying to move on, move ahead, because you have a lot of regret about the things you've missed out on or the things you've lost or that the things like you can't even take with you leaving this foundation or relationship here. And for some of you, it's taking you a while to see how to get this new beginning. And even as you start seeing it, you're not talking about it. You're not sharing it with other people, which I don't think is necessary. I mean, you don't have to, but this seems like a bit of a, I'm going to struggle in silence <laughs> until I get stable and on my feet. You might even stop talking to the people in your life while you're trying to figure this out. Because it seems like this is a rough road. It seems hard. You're going slow because you have so much anxiety, right? So it's taking you a while to see how to get this, which is why you're going slow. But at the same time, even once you see it, you're like, I don't need to tell anybody. I don't need to tell anybody what I'm doing. So I'm with the Eight of Cups. So I'm up with the Eight of Cups for Taurus. So I'm up with the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Wow. Overall, we have Seven of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, Page of Wands in reverse. Ooh, yikes. With the Seven of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, two sevens back to back. Whatever severed this. It just, it's giving me the chills. It could have been news that somebody was deceptive. You could have found out from an external party that somebody in this relationship or foundation was really deceptive. Page of Wands in a verse is bad news or gossip. Seven of Swords in a verse, well, you know what Seven of Swords is, it's deceit. And Seven of Swords in a verse, someone got away with it. Someone got away with it. Seven of Cups in a verse, and it's very clear. Yeah, I feel like you found out news about the other person in this relationship that they did something they shouldn't have. Wow. And it could have been that they had options, but I feel like it's just very clear to you. You could have suspected for a while, and now it's just undeniable. Let's look at the Seven of Swords, and then we'll look at the Magician here. I'm sorry, Taurus. I know this is getting kind of sad. It's getting a little sad. Um, I'm going to use the Norman deck for this one. This is the limited edition, so all the decks I use are linked below if you want them for yourselves. Sorry, my hair is getting caught in my glasses. So the Seven of Swords. Yikes, of course, the snake. Of course the snake would come out with the Queen of Wands. The snake is treachery, it's venom, it's toxicity, villainous energy, if you will. And then we have the moon with the eight of cups, and then we have the maze here, a five and a seven. So again, two sevens, seven, seven, and a five, seven, seven. So seven, seven, seven's all over the place for you here, okay? So that tells me that there's actually a, a reason all this has happened and it's pushing you on your path. That's what that's telling with all the sevens here. But with the snake, yeah, you've suspected this. You've had your suspicions, but you couldn't see it clearly. 
You were very confused. You weren't sure if they were really up to something. You felt it in your gut. You might have even felt it intuitively, but you were very confused and you weren't sure. And whatever this news was or like someone saying something to you became really clear. Sido wants to come out with the Seven of Swords. You, yeah, you already knew in your gut. You're, I feel like your higher self knew. Your, your intuition told you. Maybe you don't want to believe it. Maybe you don't want to believe it. Talking about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Talking about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah. The Garden with the Eight of Swords. So now you have two eights too. Eights and sevens everywhere. So yeah, Taurus, I feel like this is really good for you actually. I feel like it's pushing in the, in the right direction on your path and you're going to have stability again. You will. Everything's going to be fine. But the Garden is a public card. It's literally the card of community. It's literally the card of community. The people around you might have known. I don't like that. The people around you might have known they were they were up to something. Um, they might have enabled it. Because you know how people are. They don't want to get involved. You know, people don't want to get involved. They don't want to, like, tell you, oh, you know, that person you're so involved with and living with, they're like... They're doing this side or the other behind your back. Like, you know, people don't want to get involved, you know? So even if the community knows something, more often than not, they keep it to themselves. Some people will say something. I've been in that position before. It's not fun. Anyway, <laughs> it's not about me. It's about you guys. Overall, we have um, the crossing, which is you will, you will get through this. You will get through this. That's basically what it is. It's getting from point A to point B. It's a victory as well. It's like, can I make it happen? Can I really do that? Yes, you can. I'm also noticing like the heights of the bridges, this top one here and this low one here. I think you're just, you're trying what you need to do to take the high road and pick yourself up slowly and just move on. This person didn't do that. This person did whatever they wanted to do. So this is gonna be in the form of different things, but I do feel honestly, it's just something that was like taboo, something that was behind your back, something they shouldn't have been doing. It's something that shouldn't, they shouldn't have been doing. It's like it was a betrayal to the connection or betrayal to the agreement you had between each other. And I do feel like you heard it from the community. I do feel that really strongly. Or it's something that like is public or was, or was seen on social media because there's a public communal energy about this, okay? All right, moving on. Let's go to the magician. Let's see what you're creating, Taurus. Let's see what you're going to do. Let's see what you're going to do with this awesome new energy you have that you're stepping into. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use crystal. I think it's crystal vision. I think that's the name of it. What about magician? What about the magician for Taurus? Magician for Taurus. Time of the Magician for Taurus. Six of Pentacles. See, look at you finding your balance again. Taurian energy. Time over the Magician. Time over with the magician. Yeah, justice in reverse Libra energy. You're gonna you're gonna be okay. I feel like you're actually gonna get um <coughs> like how do I say this? Like universal reward for this. Like the the scales will balance out. Whatever this person did to you, you're gonna get some kind of benefit, some kind of reward um, to balance out the scales here karmically. Okay, so that could be in the realm of a lot of things. Maybe you're gonna meet someone new. Um, Maybe even though you feel like you've lost a lot financially, maybe you're going to gain that back. You know what I mean? It's righting the wrong. And that's going to be righted in your favor. Tell me more about the magician. Hold on. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. The devil. Capricorn energy. Three of swords in reverse. Libra energy. Careful of obsession here. Don't don't get obsessed with getting justice and vengeance. Don't 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 go down that road because I feel like it's very possible here. But the three of swords in reverse, there's going to be healing. There will be healing here. But with the devil, I just feel like there was something very toxic about this connection to begin with, or toxic about this foundation to begin with. And don't forget, 
the universe is on your side here, okay? The wrong will be righted in the way that it needs to be. So just keep going at your pace. All right, just keep going at your pace, nice and slow. So I'm with the magician. Yeah, I really feel like this might have been a third party with the seven of swords, three of swords, the snake. I really think it might have been a third party. Tell me about the magician. Hell, they could have stole money from you. Whatever it was that was behind your back, you would know what it is if it's resonating with you. Ooh, excuse me. Overall, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Could also be Earth or Water. Five of Wands in reverse with the five. Now we got two fives here. Five of Wands in reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpio and Leo. Ooh. So recovering from conflict. Recovering from competition. This Queen of Pentacles, this is an interesting energy to come out here. This is someone who's getting over it. Yeah, this is someone who's getting over it. So Taurus, I do feel like it was you. I feel like, yeah, I feel like this is your energy. Sorry, I was like, there's something about it that felt different. I feel like the situation has changed you and it's changing your energy in a drastic way because it's like, is this the same person? <laughs> it feels so different. It feels so different. This, this situation has transformed you in a way that was necessary. It's necessary and you're putting it behind you. Yeah, like the more you realize how toxic it was, whatever it was that you were involved with anyway, I think that's actually giving you peace and it's helping you realize like, why would I choose a partner like that? I don't need to be choosing partners like that. It's also helping you recognize your worth. And that's not, I don't feel like the situation's ever gonna happen to you again. I don't think you're gonna be taken advantage of like this, or I don't feel like your boundaries are gonna be violated again. Yeah, you're finding a lot of strength in this. You're finding a lot of strength in this. You, stu you do still feel like you lost a lot, like financially or energetically, but you're gonna gain it back. I know you're gonna gain it back with that Six of Pentacles here. So you're gonna be fine. So yeah, this situation is actually giving you a lot of growth, but you're just taking your time and getting there. And I think that that's totally okay. No need to rush this process because I do feel like if you try to rush getting to a place of stability, you're going to have a lot of anxiety. So do it at your pace because it's really working for you. Okay. Oh, Taurus. All right. I'll do a third spread. I'll do a third. I was really debating because the first one was really long, but I will be doing a third. I might even use Oracle decks this time. Yeah, I kind of want to. I really kind of want to. We'll see. But anyway, Taurus, if you're not checking out any of the other readings, um, I hope you guys enjoyed that and had a lot of insight from it. Don't forget to check out uh, Vimeo and Patreon and BombySpirit.com as well, and I will see you guys later, okay? Have a good night, guys. Namaste. Hey, Taurus. Okay, this is going to be the last spread for your bonus video, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. I'm going to start with the Honest Truth deck. I was thinking about doing Oracle, like starting with Oracle and then just clarifying, and I was like, no. I don't know. I, I just feel like only tarot for you guys today. So let's get into it. Can I get any different messages for Taurus, please? Any different messages for Taurus? Any different messages for Taurus, please? I just heard control and surrender. Okay. Any messages for Taurus? Maybe you're learning to surrender control. Could definitely be it, Taurus. Oh, that was very quick. King of Cups, Scorpionic energy, could also be water or air. I heard no more holding back. Oh, are you diving into love, Taurus? Or is someone diving into love with you? It seems like that. Like someone's giving into their emotions, giving into what their heart's like been telling them. Oh, that feels good. I like that. Or you could be getting an offer, Taurus, and maybe you're wanting to control a situation and you're and you're realizing I need to just let love be what it is and not try to control it. Let's see. Any other messages for Taurus? Interesting. Four swords in reverse. Libra energy. This is recovery is needed. Recovery is really needed. This person could be coming out of recovery as well. Like a time period of like recharging the batteries, trying to get clarity in a situation. I feel like this person is giving into love. I feel like this person's giving in. And maybe they overthought it. I feel like maybe they could have been very overanalytical about how they feel, what they're feeling, but they're giving into it. 
after a time period of like trying to figure it out, like almost like a hermit energy. Any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus? Any other messages for Taurus regarding this spread? None of Pentacles, Virgo energy. That's a very single energy, very independent energy. I like this energy. I like this energy. I feel it's representing a person, possibly the person that this King of Cups is interested in. This person's very resilient. They're kind of badass. I can feel it. Whether they're female or male, they have a very like masculine, like hard ass energy about them, but not in a bad way, like in a very sexy way, in a very luring kind of a way. Like this person really means business. Like this person doesn't have any time for bullshit. They might even do things that people are like, oh, that's badass that they do that. Like, um, I did just hear tattoo. They could have a lot of tattoos. They could be a tattoo artist. Yeah, I just feel like this person's about adventure. Whoever this Nine of Pentacles is, this person is adventurous. They're outdoorsy. If they want to do something, they just do it. Like, they don't let anything hold them back. Very resilient, very cool person right there. Male or female, doesn't matter. Any other messages for Taurus pertaining to this spread? And a king of wands, Leo energy. What did I say about like ma their masculine energy? Yeah, this person, <coughs> ah, excuse me. This person is a king of wands energy. Leo could also be fire or air. I like it. I like this person. Again, male or female doesn't matter, but they have a very like masculine, hard ass energy about them. But again, it's sexy. It's not like, it's not off putting. It feels very um, attractive. They could be very physically attractive as well. Their energy is just attractive. Any other messages? Oh, page of wands, flirty, flirty, flirt. Okay, I'm liking this reading compared to the other two. This feels really good. Yeah, so there's some flirting going on or someone's gonna approach. Overall, we have a queen of cups, Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the moon in reverse, Pisces. Could also be Cancer for me as a reader underneath that. Ooh, we got a Page of Pentacles in a verse. Eee! And a Four of Wands in a verse. Okay, it couldn't stay good, could it? Just could it. Just could not stay good. Yikes. Oops, sorry, guys. Um, so with the Moon in a verse, with the Page of Pentacles in a verse, and the Four of Wands in a verse, um, this, this is realizing that something's not being acknowledged about a faulty foundation. Something's not being looked at in the right way and not having like a help. There's no like healthy perspective here. And this queen is the one who's realizing it. This queen is realizing it. I actually like this queen is the same person. I feel like this is like their masculine and feminine side here. So like I said, there's like I said, no matter if they're male or female, it doesn't matter. There's something very attractive about them. The king of wands can be very attractive. Uh, typically man, again, gender doesn't apply here, but the Queen of Cups is also very gentle, very healing, like very motherly, like very uber feminine. So you have like uber masculine, uber feminine energy kind of coming into one being. And then they also have this Nine of Pentacles energy. <coughs> Hold on a second. Sorry, my throat chakra is all of a sudden really unhappy. <laughs> there might be some communication problems between these two. <laughs> oh, kill me. They also have a Nine of Pentacles energy about them, which screams independence. Like, this is someone who can do all bad by themselves. Like, they don't need someone to take care of them, which also makes them even more attractive. So again, like, they're rough and a hard ass, but very attractive at the same time. This person's realizing something's not being seen in the right way. Something's not being looked at in the right way. <laughs> Almost like a reality check is needed. Okay, I gotta pause. I need, I need to take care of my throat. Hold on a second. Okay, Taurus, I'm back. So sorry about that. So 
just to reiterate really quickly, this individual, they're realizing that a foundation is not being looked at in the right way. Like the reality of it's not being seen. A reality check is needed here. This person has this kind of energy. Really powerful person. I feel like someone who would be really hard to ignore. Even maybe uh, irresistible at that, okay? Now, we also have a King of Cups energy over here. I feel like, excuse me, they're coming out of a period of gaining clarity themselves. <clears throat> And I feel a surrendering happening with them, a surrendering of like, I'm going to give in to love. I'm going to give in to what I want. I'm going to give in. I'm going to give in. I'm going to give in. And then we have this communique over here <clears throat> with this individual, whether they're in a partnership or not, they're very independent and they will always carry their independence. I feel for some, this individual, this King of Cups energy, they might have just stepped into this King of Cups energy because I feel more control on their side. Like, I think that might be one of the reasons why they haven't wanted to surrender to this. They might not have liked the fact that this person's so independent. Like wondering if this person can give what they need. <clears throat> wondering if this Queen of Cups, King of Wands could give this King of Cups exactly what they would want out of a connection. I am getting a lot of that. But I'm more interested in the Page of Wands because there's some communication going on here. So let's see what communication is taking place. I'm going to use Cosmic. So I have the page of wands. So I have the page of wands for Taurus. So I have the page of wands for Taurus. <clears throat> Before I go further, the skin cups, like I said, I was feeling almost like that fear of this person is so independent. Like, they do so much on their own. Could they really give what I would need in a relationship or a connection? Could I even make them happy? Like, could I even give them anything? There's a little fear like that. On the other side of things, this queen <clears throat> slash king of wands is, is kind of having a reality check of their own. Kind of like, I feel like they're starting to wonder if this king of cups is, is even a good option for them. There might be a little bit of mirroring going on here. And with the king and queen of cups, their masculine and feminine side match. I wouldn't be surprised if we get the queen of wands for this person. But yeah, as, as long as this king of cups has like been wondering if, if it's even worth it, like could the queen give me enough? Could I give them enough? Now this queen is starting to think like, maybe this king's not a good match for me. Maybe they're not. But either way, we got some flirty communication, okay? <clears throat> So I have the page of wands. Because this is somebody, this queen likes their independence. Like they do not want to be restrained in any way. <clears throat> they might even have a fear of commitment. Feeling a little bit of that. So I have the page of wands. Yeah, there needs to be some major communication here. Might like it's gonna be hard to stay in this reading. So I have the page of wands for Taurus. Time of the Page of Wands. We have Death in Reverse. Okay, Scorpionic Energy. Two Wands in Reverse, Aries. Yeah, uh, this is indecision. I'm almost getting a hot, cold energy. Like there's flirting and then there's indecisiveness. Like they like like both parties will go there, but then there's like a weird pullback. There's resistance. There's resistance. So I'm with the page of wands. <clears throat> Tell me about the page of wands for Taurus. This King of Cups likes to feel needed. Yeah, this King of Cups likes to feel like they have a purpose in a relationship. I'm getting a lot of earthy energy off of that, actually, even though there's like hardly any earth cards. I feel like this King of Cups likes to sit in earth energy or they have like an earth energy perspective. It's like I just keep getting this, this, this energy with them. Like, can I even give what they would need? Can I even give anything? Like, what would be my purpose? Yeah, like what would be my purpose in this connection if this queen is so independent and can do all by, by themselves? This, this king needs to have a purpose in a relationship or a connection. Otherwise, they don't feel satisfied. 
I feel like this king is probably used to um, providing financially for the people that they're with. And this queen doesn't need that. Talking about the page of wands. Four of pentacles in reverse, Cappy. Eight of cups, Pisces. Ooh, and then we have seven of cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. So I do like that there's some kind of moving away from confusion. I do like that because that means that there's some clarity going on here. We're going, we're, we're heading further into like higher levels of, of cups, right? We're going from the seven to the eight. Maybe we can get to the nine. Maybe we can get to the 10, right? So I like that. There is also a letting go of something here with this four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I really feel like someone needs to change a perspective. And I feel like it's this King of Cups with this surrendering of control and like surrendering of needing a purpose. It's like, I don't think this person is used to being with someone where they just want to be with them because they just love them. Like they're not getting anything else out of it other than I'm just with you because I want to be with you. They're not used to that. So, but until they can release that, there's going to be some resistance and some indecision going on here. <clears throat> but with the Eight of Cups, there's clearly a desire to. There's a desire to do it. So I'm with the Page of Wands. What did I say? We're going to get a Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands in reverse Aries could also be fire or air. Interesting, we do have a Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. So this is their feminine side freaking out. This King of Cups feminine, feminine inside, their feminine energy is freaking out. The ability for them to receive is kind of freaking out here. They're looking at this Queen of Cups like, damn, they're like the perfect person for me. They're the perfect partner. They can do battle by themselves, but they want to give to me. But they want to nurture me. They don't need me. They just want to be with me because they want to be with me. This person, this King of Cups doesn't know how to receive. That's what I'm seeing here. Like, they don't know how to receive this person. They want to. They don't know how. Okay, I gotta be honest. I'm also getting a little bit, like, this King of Cups has a history of, like I said, like, they need a purpose in a relationship. Like, they need to be able to provide something. I think they need that to feel like they have control. Like, as long as I can give something to the person I'm with, I will always have some sense of control in the relationship because I give them something. They don't know how to release that. They're having a lot of issues releasing that. Because it means that if things go bad or things go wrong, this Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, can just leave whenever they want. And I don't think that sits well with them. Turn about the page of wands. So like, that's kind of shitty. I gotta be honest. I don't like that. That's kind of shitty. But it is what it is. Tell me about the page of wands. Peeker? No. Tell me about the page of wands for Taurus. <clears throat> wow overall we have the queen of cups in reverse can't serene energy you can also see pisces or scorpio yikes with judgment in reverse fire energy also scorpionic energy for me as a reader okay interesting five of cups in reverse scorpio with that page of wands energy with this communication yeah i really feel like this queen is looking at this this king of cups like I don't know if this is a good idea to be with someone like you. Like they they sense it. Plus they're very intuitive because they're they're a queen of cups. Like <clears throat> this approach from this king of cups of I want to be with you, but you're so independent. You're so independent. What could I even give? What could I bring? And this queen's like, you just have to bring you. And I think this queen is realizing why this king has this pathology. And this king does need to release it. They know that. <clears throat> they know that. Because they know this person's pretty damn perfect. They know they are. They know they're pretty damn perfect. But with this Queen of Cups in reverse and Judgment in reverse, I feel like this Queen is, is really thinking this is probably not a good idea. This King of Cups just needs to mature a little bit in that regard. Like, surrender that control or, like, that need to control the relationship or control someone else because you give them shit. Like release that and just trust that this is going to work out because I do want to just be with you. I do just want to provide to you and just nurture with you. Like, that's all I want. They're having such a hard time letting go of that, but they know they need to. They know they need to. By the way, underneath the page of wands, we got love. We got love. Realization of love. 
yeah, this this King of Cups loves this queen. No doubt. But they have to release this. They have to release it. And until it's obvious <clears throat> and until it's obviously released, this Queen of Cups is not gonna go for it. Because this Queen of Cups is independent. Again, they can do battle by themselves. So I mean this might even be a counterpart situation. Because their feminine side matches your masculine. Your masculine matches their feminine side here. Just saying. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be, obviously. Um, but yeah, this person can do a lot on their own. And they're going to be just fine alone. They'd, this person rather be alone than get involved with someone who's got some growing up to do. Right? Or who's got some stuff that has to be released. Because they, they know, this person knows, it's just going to be a rough time or even a waste of time. Like they, this, this is someone who does a lot of shit in their life. They don't have time to deal with somebody who doesn't know if they can get over their own control issues to be with someone that's super compatible with them. You know what I mean? Interesting. All right, Taurus. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed those readings. Don't forget to check out Vimeo and Patreon and bombyspirit.com and Instagram for Water Baby Tarot and Bombyspirit Inc. And I will see you guys soon. Okay. Have a really great night, Taurus. Namaste.